It might seem like small cars are going out of fashion. We've seen the Ford Fiesta and the VW Up go off sale. The small cars that are left have had massive price hikes, making them far less appealing than they were before. So, is there any point in buying a small car today? Well, this is the new Renault Clio, and it is a brilliant example why small cars can still make a lot of sense. In this review, we're explaining why, but before we start, go to whatcar.com for a great deal on your next car, and subscribe to our channel for lots more reviews like this. So the fifth generation Clio first arrived back in 2019. This is still the fifth generation model, but it's the facelifted version of it. So you can see there's been some updates to the styling at the grille, it's got a new logo, there are LED headlights which are slimmer than they were before, and the alloy wheel designs are different as well. The layout of the interior is very similar to how it was before, but there have been some improvements to some of the materials used in here. So particularly on the dashboard and on the doors as well, it feels pretty plush and nice. We are in a new range topping version of the Clio called the Renault Clio Esprit Alpine and it's a sporty trim level which plays on Renault's association with its sporty sub-brand Alpine in a similar way to having BMW M Sport and Mercedes AMG line. So Esprit Alpine doesn't mean that this is some pocket rocket hot hatch, instead it's just a range topping trim with a few sporty touches and lots of kit thrown in. So this replaces R line which was the pre previous range topping version of the Clio. Below this you've got mid-spec techno which gets snazzy ambient interior lighting and the entry level version is the Clio Evolution. Now this is the most expensive version of the Clio you can buy, this Esprit Alpine model and it looks really really nice. You've got some contrast stitching on the steering wheel, a French flag as well but the good thing is you don't have to go for the most expensive version of this car to get a nice interior because techno and Evolution both look really nice as well. You get some nice metal effect dials down here, which are good from a usability perspective and the fact that you don't have climate controls hidden on a fiddly touchscreen somewhere, but they also just feel good quality as well. It is a shame though that this armrest isn't a bit more padded than it is because if you rest your elbow on it while you're driving, it does get rather sore after not very long. Now, even though it might seem like lots of small cars are going off sale, it is still the case that the Clio has a lot of competition that it's up against. So, this is an alternative to cars like the Skoda Fabia, the VW Polo, the Dacia Sandero, the Honda Jazz. But this interior looks and feels very modern compared to all of those alternatives. And the infotainment system is also impressive compared to them as well. This is the biggest screen that you can get at 9.3 inches. The lower trim levels get seven inch screens, but whichever one you go for, the graphics are nice, it's quick to respond to your inputs, and it generally has a simple layout that's easy to get your head around. You also get Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is very good. It is a shame though that there aren't more physical controls to help use this infotainment system because there basically aren't any. But what is good is you still have these permanently visible shortcuts along the bottom of the screen, which make it easy to hop between the different menus. And the screen itself is good and responds quickly to your inputs. And just like other Renault models, you've got this extra stalk down here on the steering column, which helps you control things things to do with the media functions so you can turn up the volume or you can change what you're listening to and generally the driving position here is spot on you've got a great view of the road ahead it's easy to see through the steering wheel to the driver display here now the lower trim levels get a 7 inch TFT screen this has a 10 inch fully digital display which looks really nice gives you all the important information that you need and it's still relatively easy to cycle through some different menus using the controls on the steering wheel as well and if you go for this range topping Esprit Alpine model, then you will notice you get these big chunky sports seats up front, which have a lot of extra side bolstering to give you some extra support. But even if you don't go for this fancy range topping trim level, the lesser versions of the Clio are still very comfortable inside and look very nice as well. Now, the back of the Clio is not particularly impressive, let's be honest. If you are six foot tall or over, then you will not be able to sit up straight in these rear seats. And if you're sat behind someone reasonably tall, then there also isn't much in terms of knee or leg room. But it is good that even with the seat in its lowest position, there's still decent room to put your feet underneath. Another bad thing back here is the fact that this middle seat is raised even higher than the outer two rear seats. So if you are trying to sit three people in the back, the person who has to sit in the middle has even less headroom than the other two passengers back here. So, 
The Clear has lots of strengths, but this is one area where it is soundly beaten by its rivals. But while the rear seats aren't great, the boot is very impressive in the Clio. So in total, you get 391 litres of storage, which is not just bigger than small car rivals, but it's even bigger than what you get in a VW Golf, which is from the class above. That is, however, for the non-hybrid versions of the Clio. If you go for a hybrid Clio, like the one that we've got here, then boot space drops from 391 litres down to 301 litres, which is quite a bit smaller. It is still bigger than a Toyota Yaris, but at that size, it's less than a Honda Jazz. The Clio was originally only going to be offered as a hybrid here in the UK, but in the end, Renault decided to give us a hybrid and a regular petrol option as well. So that means the entry point of the lineup is the TCE 90, which is a one litre three cylinder petrol engine. But there is also this Clio E-Tech, which is a 1.6 litre hybrid setup. And both versions have been carried over from the previous Clio. The TCE 90 has 90 brake horsepower and a 0 to 62 miles an hour time of 12.2 seconds. Now, it's perfectly adequate for dashing around town, but if you ask for anything more from it, then it does feel rather leisurely. And if you compare it to an equivalent Skoda Fabia with a one litre TSI 95, that engine is far quicker and has a lot more mid-range punch than that Clio. But you do get a nice manual gearbox with the Clio and really the pace on offer is still fine for most of the kinds of journeys you're going to be doing in that car. When it comes to this hybrid, it has a petrol engine like the TCE90, but it also benefits from some electrical assistance as well. Now, it's not the kind of hybrid setup that enables you to travel on pure electric power alone for miles and miles and miles, and you don't plug it in to charge it up or anything like that, but it is more powerful, smoother, quieter, and it's more frugal than the TCE90 as well. The extra chunk of power means that this has a 0 to 62 miles an hour time of 9.3 seconds, and you have a nice automatic gearbox, which is actually really quite smooth. But the problem with the hybrid is that it is 3,500 pounds more than an equivalent TCE90, which is a lot. If you're wondering about real world fuel economy, by the way, we did some real world testing in both versions of the Clio and managed to achieve a result of 57.6 miles per gallon in the hybrid and 46.3 miles per gallon in the TCE90, both of which are impressive results. Whichever Clio you go for, this is a really decent small car to drive. The steering is more direct and accurate than a lot of its rivals, and it gives a better sense of connection to what the front wheels are doing as well. The ride is also pretty comfortable. It can be a bit choppy at low speeds. It doesn't quite round off road surfaces as well as a Fabio or a Polo, but it's always well controlled, and at higher speeds, things calm down. And this is just generally a really good small car on the road. So if you want to buy a Clio, which is the best version to go for? And how should you spec it? Well, when it comes to the engines, the hybrid is smooth and efficient, but we would still recommend going for the TCE90 because it's still a good option and it's a lot cheaper. There are three trim levels to choose from and even entry level evolution is still very well equipped. You get automatic climate control, keyless entry, LED headlights, but we reckon Techno is the pick of the lineup. It adds 17 inch alloys, automatic LED headlights, front parking sensors, and a reversing camera. Esprit Alpine gets the most kit, but it's the most expensive. If you really don't want to spend any extra cash on your Clio, then you will get Glacier White Solid Paint. But we'd recommend going for some of the metallic options. If you spend 600 pounds, you get a choice of three dark ones. If you spend an extra 100 pounds on top of that, then there's a choice of three brighter colors. But aside from that, there are no other options to add, even if you wanted to, which keeps things nice and simple. And the total cost for all of this? Well, as we've mentioned, most of the small cars left on sale have had big price hikes recently, but this new Clio, our favorite version of it, costs less than 20,000 pounds, which undercuts pretty much all of its rivals, particularly the Jazz. It is true that a Sandero is even cheaper, but then this feels like a much more well-rounded car. So the Clio has a smart interior, a good ride and handling balance, a practical boot, and it's available for a competitive price. If you want to buy a new small car today, this should be at the top of your list. Thanks for watching this review. If you want to see another one, then click up there. And if you want to save more than £2,000 on a Renault Clio right now, then click on that link to go to whatcar.com.